Okay, I wanna be honest with you. I have a big problem with my Shopify store. I only have two products. And that really limits you with doing upsells and cross sells on my store to increase the average order value. Sure, I have a new book releasing this fall and matching coloring books releasing in August, but it takes so long to create these products. So in today's video, I wanted to create 20 new print on demand products to sell in my store today. Yep, I said 20 new products. I know, but this will help me test products so I can see which ones to push for the holiday promotions because in e-commerce, you always have to be thinking about Q4. I'm gonna use designs I already have from my books and see how I can format them for other products that my ideal customer might like. There are a lot of different print-on-demand suppliers that integrate with Shopify, but for this video and for my store, I'm gonna be using Printful. Printful has a large variety of products, high quality prints, and all of their products will ship together, which is really helpful to reduce shipping costs because remember, my books are still gonna ship separately as well. Okay, enough talking, we've got so much to do, so let's go ahead and switch to my computer screen now so we can start setting this up in Printful for my Shopify store. Okay, so we are now in my Printful account. I don't have any products set up, so let's go ahead and get started with our very first one. So I'm gonna click on Add Product. And you can see all the different products that they have. Again, they have a large variety of products that you can choose and they either do printing on it or embroidery. Um, but let's go ahead for this first one. Let's go to our coffee mugs and let's do that first since we've already got that designed and ready to go. I really liked this version with kind of the colored handle and the color inside. I think it just makes it look a little bit more luxurious um, than just the solid white or solid black. So let's go with this. So now we can just upload our design and we can just click choose file. So now I'm finding it on my computer. I've actually already downloaded the template from Printful that they had of a Photoshop file that had all the guidelines to make sure that everything was going to be printing correctly. And I've already got a couple designs ready to go. Um, so let's just go ahead and start with our donuts one that we designed. And I'm just going to click apply to add that in. So you can see here at the design view of what we uploaded. You can also go in and you can add in their text, clip art, all those things that you can add in, but we already have all that set up. So what we're checking is that the layer is good. We've got a good print quality and our resolution is going to be really nice and it's gonna be just a really crisp design. So we can come in now and see how this looks up in the mock-up view. So you can see here, this is going to be the center of the mug, how the different sides will look. So if we look at mock-up view, it's a little bit easier to see and understand how it's all going to look whenever it's the finished printed design. So yeah, I like it. Uh, I wish that it could go all the way to the edge, but that's just something with this product. So um, let's choose a different color for the inside though. I'm not really a fan of the black. So let's see how that looks maybe with orange. No, right now let's do pink. Let's look at the mock-up view now with pink. Okay, I like that much better with pink, yes. Too bad they don't have a green. Green would look nice, but I do have some other different designs. So I think the green background with the pink, I think this is looking fun. Okay, so we'll just hit proceed to media. Okay, so they don't have it here, but you can change your, choose your mock-up style. So these are actually really nice photos that they have available that you can just go ahead and use. Let's see. Um, I'm kind of liking the spring summer vibes. That could look kind of cute with the donuts. And we could always just go more of a flat mock-up and add it in with a tool like Place It to do more stylized and maybe not as generic because it, a lot of people, I guess, are probably using these. So let's just go ahead and let's just keep it with the hands for now. Okay, and we'll do the mock-up. Won't do a video right now and click proceed. 
Now we can go in and customize all of our text. I typically like to do this in Shopify so that I can see how all this looks and I can go in and just make it a little bit more stylized with my website design. So I'm gonna just keep this as is right now. I definitely do not recommend keeping the description how it is. Uh, let's just change the product title at least. Yummy donuts mug. You know what, we'll come back to it. It doesn't have to be figured out right away, um, but definitely wanna make sure that we have come in later on and spruced up this description a little bit more. Tags I'll also do in Shopify. Um, and we will turn off the visibility. I don't want it to publish right away. And we don't actually have a collection set up for that either. So we'll have to do that in Shopify. So we'll just click proceed to pricing. So the mug is the printful price is $8.95 to $9.25. Um, meaning that the revenue is a little bit lower. I think because it's a little bit bigger mug of 11 ounces, as well as it's a little bit more stylized with the color inside and on the handle, we can get away with making this price a little bit more. So let's just put this at $12 for now. Um, and we can of course always come in and change this and mess around with it in Shopify as well. And we'll just hit submit to store. Okay, sweet. That was not too bad, just a couple minutes that it took us to do that. So what makes it even faster is that I am going to be doing a couple different mugs. So what you can do is you can just duplicate it. So I'm clicking on duplicate here and let's go in and add a different design. So we'll upload our new file. Same process as before. This time we'll change out the design to our cookies. Click apply. Let's make sure we delete this other one. I don't want it making its way into the file. So, okay, purple, let's see. I think maybe we try yellow for the inside of the color this time. I don't wanna, you could do multiple color options, but I don't really wanna give people a bunch of options and choices to choose from. I'm just gonna select which one I think looks best. So let's see the mock-up view now. Oh yeah, I like that as yellow. Okay, cool. And continue. We'll just do the same kind of images again. Cool. Naming it differently. Not going to publish. Leaving the rest the same. Proceed to pricing. What did we say? 12. Cool. Done. Okay. See, that makes it a lot faster when you can duplicate it. So let's just go ahead and duplicate it one more time and get that other product in as well. Yeah, let's do the blue. It's a little bit lighter or a little bit brighter of a blue, but I think it'll be good. Okay. Okay, and just like that, we've got all the mugs designed already. So now let's move on to our next product, which is going to be, I think the puzzle. I'm really excited to try out the puzzle and see how that looks. Let's see, I know I saw puzzle in here before. It was under accessories. I have so many products. Dang, okay, am I missing it? Oh, puzzles. Okay. So I just did the 252 because my design is definitely, or my store is for children and it's children's books. So I think having a little bit more of a manageable size, I think will be good. So let's just do, oh my gosh, this is just making me hungry. I like how it's telling me to use a larger size when I legit downloaded their template. So I think that's on you guys, Printful. Um, we'll just keep this for now. 
I can see that the print quality is average. I always like to get that to be good quality. So I'm going to continue forward with this, but I can always come back and replace the file design before I actually start going to print. But this will just help me get it up and get it out there. Let's see, can I? No, okay. Well, we'll definitely need to come back and check on that, but let's see the mock-up view. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, seeing it with the hands, I definitely think this will be a better child appropriate size. Um, and it won't be like huge for people to do of uh, 500 pieces. I think that might be a little bit overwhelming for some kids. So let's click proceed. Huh, that's fun. Ooh, which one do I like? Let's see. I think I like it kind of coming apart like that. Okay, proceed. Again, I'm just doing something really easy so that I can go in and rename it later with Shopify. Also gonna turn off publishing it and just proceed. Okay, 1595 is the print full price, ouch. Um, revenue, 655, 2250. I don't know for, hmm, let's just set this at 22 and we'll have to see if that pricing is okay, comparable, um, and just look at some different competitors to see how they are selling different puzzles online and different comparable puzzle prices. But again, we can make all of these changes later on. So I'm just trying to get it up there, not publish it yet so I can come back and make some changes later on. Okay, so that finished, you can always, again, click edit, which is what I'll be doing to edit this product and add in the better quality image to do for that, um, to make sure that it's just the highest quality that it's printing out. But we can also come back in and edit prices whenever we look at competition and decide how we want to price things if we wanna change things up. But let's go through the same process. I've got a couple more puzzles designed, so let's just keep duplicating and adding in more puzzles. Oh, okay, the puzzles are all gonna have to be revisited for the image quality and making sure that that is a 300 DPI resolution, which is a little annoying again, because I did download those templates from Printful directly. However, we're moving on. We're gonna just keep moving forward and add more products to the store. So let's just go ahead. So the next one I had designed was some t-shirts for little kids because again, we are a children's book company. So that just kind of makes sense. So let's go to kids and youth and let's go to t-shirts. I just did the regular, not the all over. I think it's gonna be more comfortable for little kids to wear. And I just picked out this one cause it was a bestseller and had kind of more reviews. That's kind of how I picked a lot of the products that I chose to go with, is just based off of more reviews. So if you go back here, you can actually see all of the reviews, you can read the reviews, and they'll talk about, a lot of times people will talk about quality or the fabric, and it can be really helpful to kind of pick which product, because you can see that there's a lot of different ones that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and just click on this. I am doing a white shirt. I'm gonna do all sizes, choose the file. And we'll click apply. Oh, that looks quite big in this space. So let's just shrink that down a little bit, pull it up a little. Cute. 
Okay, and we'll just click proceed. I do kind of like it on the little kids. I think it makes it a little bit easier. I like seeing the full face instead of the cut off. So let's just go with that and proceed. Okay, again, we'll just come back and do the description later. Yeah, I and keeping it the same for all. Let's just set the price for all to 18. Gives us a little bit more of a buffer room. I don't think it's that far off um, for pricing, just increasing it by $2. And let's click Submit. You could go in and make each size different pricing, but I don't think it's gonna really change that much, especially since the pricing was pretty in line. Okay, let's just duplicate it. Switch out our design. Okay, just move it around just a tiny bit. Realizing that I kind of designed it to be kind of big. Okay, that looks better. Okay, and continue. Just do the same lockup. Okay, so let's add a few more new products in. Let's see, I also had some posters designed, some stickers and some totes. Uh, but I think you're getting the general idea of how quick and easy it is to set up your products with print on demand with a different print on demand provider like Printful. So let's go ahead and let's try out maybe the stickers next. Or you know what? Let's actually do the poster because I think the poster looks really nice. Posters. Okay, we have a vertical. Let's see, I did eight by 10, 11 by 14. Let's see, I think I did 12 by 18. Oh man, I can't remember now. 16 by 20, 18 by 24, 24. I might have done all of those sizes. I didn't do 12 by 18. It's okay, I think it'll be fine. Just go ahead and upload all of those. So we're just gonna apply the 24 by 36 design. Okay, so that looks good there. And it's telling us that we need to adjust these individually. So we actually need to come back and change out the file to be a different file for these. We've designed specific ones for each, but for now I'm just going to resize them just so that Printful will stop giving me the error. Okay, so that works for now. Let's go ahead and click proceed to media and we can go back and change those files out afterwards. So we can see our mock-ups here. Let's see, I don't really like the lifestyle ones on the wall. Again, because it will be for kids, it's an ABC's poster. Um, I feel like it would be better for us to just use a tool like Place It and find like a nursery kids room to put the poster design in for our mock up. So let's just go with just one of our basic ones. Uh, I don't really like the clips. So let's just do the flat one. Okay. And we'll hit proceed. So for posters, I think we can get away with making it a bit more expensive, um, especially if it's a higher quality. So let's change around the pricing here just a little bit. And again, we can always come back and change this later on, especially after we look and see what other people are selling different posters for. Let's see. I mean, they're 
24 by 36. That's a pretty big poster. Let's do 21. Okay, and submit. Okay, so now that that is in our account, we can just click on edit and I'm gonna change the print file for each of the ones so that it's specific for each of the posters. So I like doing this just so that I can make sure that I can control exactly how it looks for each of the poster designs instead of just scaling it down in Printful. So to do this, you're just going to click on the different ones that you want to edit. So I'm just going to click on this one first and hit change print file. So this was my eight by 10. So let's go in now and I'm going to remove this one and add in our eight by 10. Nice, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that for the other ones as well. So I'm gonna do the same for the 11 by 14 and just continue on down so that I can make sure that all of them have the correct file size. I will say it does make it easier to do this once you have them all uploaded already. Okay, 16 by 20 is the next one. Delete this other one. We're good, we're good. And then the last one would be this 18 by 24. Okay, and then the 24 by 36 we know is the correct size. So now we've got all those set up. So we're starting to build this out in our Printful account. I still have a couple more products that I'm going to be setting up like stickers and a tote bag, but I think you get the general idea of how easy it is to set everything up with Printful. So now let's go back to my Shopify store and you can see here if we just refresh just to make sure that these are all of the latest. We've got a lot of draft products here that are our different products from Printful. And we can go in and we can actually go and, you know, make all the changes that we want to our description in here, as well as change around any of the lifestyle images, add our own images. We can just go in and create images, either ones that we create and place it, or once we've ordered these mugs, we can then take our own images and add them in here. We can also go in and we can add in our product type now and add it to a collection. So we can have a automated collection start pulling in based off of, you know, we can say these are coffee mugs. Okay, which aren't showing up. Okay, let's just say mugs then. Mugs, okay. And now we can add it into a collection and build out a collection based off of that. So there's a lot that you can do both in Printful and then go in and afterwards stylize it a little bit more to make sure you've got exactly how you want it to show up in your Shopify store before you publish that live. Okay, so if we go back to my Printful account now, I'm gonna create a couple more products again, like the stickers and tote bags. So if you wanna see all of the products and what they look like, I'll put a link in the description below if you're curious to check out the finished results. But I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. So I would love to know, are you considering doing print-on-demand products for your Shopify store? And if so, which app have you decided to go with using? Make sure to comment below and let me know. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button as well. So you'll be the first to be notified when I put out new videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.